you must have used some of these advanced rigs before. Ever wonder how these advanced rigs have IKFK switches to the hands and legs? Here's how it's done and it's very simple once you know how it's done. Here I have my rig which has an IK arm. Let's begin by understanding the basic concept behind our switch. Select your IK constraint arm and go to the bone constraint panel. Under the IK constraints, you will see a value called influence. This value controls how much of IK affects your arm. If it is set to 1, it basically means the arm is in IK mode while a value of 0 indicates it is in FK mode. So if somehow we are able to control this value independently, we have our IK FK switch ready. Now like the video if you understood the concept behind our switch. So to achieve this, we take help of custom property. To make a custom property, select your IK constraint bone the forearm in my case and go to the bone properties. Make sure you do not go to the object data properties and I will tell you why in a minute. Here at the very bottom, you will find the custom property drop down. Select new to create a new custom property. Next, to customize this property, as per our liking, click on the gear icon next to the property. This will open the edit property drop down. Here we can name our property as arm IKL as it will be the left arm IK switch. We change its type from float to integer as we only need the value of 0 and 1. Also, you can change the default value to be 0 or 1 depending you prefer FK or IK as a default for your rig. I will leave it to 1. Now click OK to save the custom property. Now if you press N on your keyboard, you will notice under the item section that the newly created property is visible under the properties drop down. Remember I said you to add the properties in the bone panel and not the object data properties because if you do so, the property won't be visible in the end panel. So make sure it's in the bone properties. Now to establish a relationship between the values of our custom property and the influence, you first right click the custom property and select copy as new driver and then in the influence value right click and select paste driver. Now your switch is working as it needs to. But if you switch the FK mode, you don't really want the IK controller and the port target to be visible. So to hide them, whenever we switch to the FK mode, select the bone, go to the bone data properties and in the viewport display drop down, paste the driver in hide option. But wait, it disappeared in the IK mode because height gets a value of 1 while in the IK mode, leading that to trigger the height. To fix it, right click on the height and select the edit driver option. Switch the type to scripted expressions and change the expression as 1 minus arm IKL and now it must work as expected. Now you can copy this new driver from here and paste it to hide the pole target as well and you will have a professional IKFK switch at your disposal. But wait, you have a dozen of finger bones to animate unless you know how you can animate it using only and only one bow. If you want to know how, check this video out.